Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Today, I am going to introduce my new preemie girl. If you have not watched her box opening, make sure you go back and check her box opening out. Um, Zuri is the Tink by Bonnie Brown and she was painted by Valera Baby Reborn. So, this baby was not a custom as most of my babies lately has not been a custom. I saw this baby and I said to myself, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Like, she is so cute. Like, I'm like, you know, the teen sculpt is one of those sculpts where <laughs> I call it funny looking cute. No offense to anyone that have one or the real baby that Bonnie sculpted from but I just call her funny looking cute because to me that's what preemies normally are um they are funny looking cute because they haven't grown all the way into their features um and I keep saying that because people they have because a lot of people sculpt preemies and they look like just miniature newborns they don't have the real preemie look and I like babies that actually have the real preemie look so anyway Without further ado, I've decided to name her Zuri, and you can look that name up and meaning up in so many different um, what the meanings are, and all of them seem to have been something good, just beautiful, you know, that type stuff. So I, I wanted that for her. Um, I wanted to show her a little bit better than the video that the box opening and show her details. So... For one, I like to start with her hands. Her hand color is absolutely amazing and it's very, very realistic. Um, some, some of the most realistic palms and feet that I've seen. I'm going to turn her around. She has very straight hair and it is very, very beautiful. Like it's, you just, Touch it with your hands to style it, basically. It just lays. So, I haven't, like, really tried to look, look, at, you know, to see if it's one strand at a time. But I would assume it is. So, <laughs> this is her without her passy. Let me tilt her head up. So that you can see her. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry. I'm not sick, guys. <laughs> um, but um, this is this is her, and so I just I I really really <laughs> think she's so cute. Um, so me and uh, my one of my friends was we were fussing. She's like she looks she looks like a sad preemie. I'm like she's not sad. She might look like a little old lady, but she's not sad. <laughs> so anyway, I think all her undertones and coloring is just perfect for her. Um, she, let me see, something like it was, oh, that's just the light, the glare. Okay, so anyway, so I think she's definitely even more adorable with her pacifier, but that is, her little self I mean you can see like she didn't leave out no details her her ears are nicely done um she does have you know like like I said nice undertones and and stuff like that she has beautiful veining in her arms and stuff all right so let's get to her tummy plate which is very simple but nice and I'm going to change her clothes too but she had this nice little tummy plate um it's not like a whole lot to it other than it's just like she shaded her in all the right places and the coloring is just amazing um definitely multiple colors used 
um and it's 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 beautiful i i I love these babies because they look like real babies, but I also love them because I really admire the art in them. Oh, I forgot to mention her her nails are so beautifully done. Yep. And 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 here's the thing about her. Like even with her little hands, like they're not like cookie crisp you know just like oh you know like they ran through a machine you they're 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 beautiful and they're not so perfect till it just looks like skin because our skin is not just seamless i don't know how to explain it but anyway let's get down to our feet and i hope that I can. So she has these little, little skinny little legs, and she has the very like shaded and the creasing and everything is just like the perfect color. But her feet is like amazing. Let me see if I can, if I can zoom into her feet. So her feet color is like amazing. I love the way she did that. I love that she just have so much detail in her in her painting. Even though she's a dark skin baby, um, which you know, and I say that because a lot of times with dark skin babies, the the color um, you don't see as much detail in the darker babies, which is one of the things that you know. I really like hate that you don't see that as much. So I'm gonna change her diaper. She's on a little cloth body. Oh, and I did reweight her. Um, I used a little bit of my stuff, but I also kept the original stuff. I didn't use any of my polyfill. I kept the polyfill of the artist. Oh my gosh, and that polyfill that she used is so freaking soft inside her. Oh my gosh, it's it's nice. It's thick and it's soft. Like it has, it's a it's a nice feel. I know that sounds crazy, but I I really appreciate when I spend that kind of money on a baby, and even you know the inside of the stuff that they use is, you know, high quality and not just jibber jabber. You know because I mean, spend a lot of money. Um, on these babies and to open them up and sometimes they have like craziness in them you'd be like why did I pay all that money so anyway so I, I pulled that up because I'm not particularly too excited to see her, her, her belly button or anything so I'm going to pull that up so it holds the plate in better but um, I should have showed her movement before I put the plate on but as you can see her head, you know, it does fall. She, of course, would have more movement without her tummy plate on, but I'm not gonna take her tummy plate off. I'm gonna keep her tummy plate on. So I will have to shop for her. I don't even know, let me see how, how long Tink is. I know she's still the same size as, um, She's the same size as Piper, so I'm thinking she's 16 inches, but let me let me double check. Um, let's see. She is... <sighs> wow. Yeah, because she is a little bit longer. She's 18 inches, believe it or not. <laughs> She's 18 inches. So you see why I I feel I have to stress like the inches doesn't really matter. It's the actual size of the baby because um, Aspen is 19 inches. Clearly he's way bigger than this baby. Um, 
but she's 18 inches and I figured that because when I put um let me show y'all real quick before I change her when I put Piper next to her Piper was almost the same um size as her and I was like she's more than like 15 inches because let me show you. I know I do a lot with my <laughs> with my babies. I do that's crazy. But like let me see. Like, so, like, her head, y'all know her head is not, like, fully rooted, but, so her head is almost the same, same size. But, as you can see, she's a little bit shorter. And she's 18 inches, and I think, um, Piper is 16 inches. So... Yeah. See what got there. <laughs> but I know this is not about about my baby. Piper is the uh <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I forgot what Piper's scope is. Um, I don't know. But she's by Marita Winners. I can't I can't think right now. Alright, come here, Poco, why are you turning your head? Look, 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 look. All right. All right, so let's get her change. But yeah, so she's she's 18. So Tink is 18 inches. All right. But yeah, she's, she's a gorgeous baby. I love everything about her. I love everything, the way that the artist put her together. But I... I weighted her because um, she did have weight to her and um, really she was she was a, a decent weight but I like my babies to have a little bit of more weight to them so I and I wanted to add a wafer to her so I just only thing I did was take her head off I didn't take her limbs off or anything like that so I took her to her head off let me see if I I took her head off and I put more weight inside of her head and I took out some of her polyfill and um, before her, her, her body would just be like straight and then I, I gave her more glass beads in her body and in her head and it just it gave her a lot more flop um i didn't want to overweight her to where she was like too heavy but i do like to feel the weight in their head when i pick up their head so her head feels like a real head now um and you know artists can never get that right for people um so i never use that as a takeaway from an artist. When I buy from an artist, I never I never feel like that's a takeaway. I don't I just I just feel like hey, if I want it weighted heavier, I can reweight them. That's not the artist. Nothing wrong with the, anything the artist did. So I'm just gonna put her on an early bird um onesie that I have. <clears throat> it's up to five pounds from Carter's. I did say I was going to try an H&M on her, but the fact that um, Piper can wear H&M, her legs is a little bit fatter, her arms is a little bit fatter, and so her body, she's longer. She's She can, I know she can fit H&M. H&M zero to one month without the PM. 
the one with the PM, it's going to be um, too big. So I did learn that much with Drew when I shop for Drew. So yeah, she will be able to wear some H&M clothes and she will be able to wear um, Carter's preemie and just any preemie, preemie out of the store. But um, so that's good because I, I won't have to. I thought I was going to have to really like look look um now when i want little odd cute outfits i might have to really look hard or have something custom made but i don't particularly want to be spending 35 dollars per outfit for my babies um and i was using this one lady i mean buying from this one lady and her outfits used to be they were already expensive but they were a little bit more um cost efficient for me but then she got really popular and she's went up like a lot so i just i'm not gonna pay 35 dollars for a print uh you know just a little onesie like this it's, it's like nothing really fancy about the clothes it's just that it fits them and so i guess it's a demand for it and she is making her money and it's nothing wrong with that it's just i'm not willing to pay it so plus you know to be honest i love to see the babies dress all up and i love uh, when they're really really cute and all that and stuff but i prefer my babies in less clothes as possible like a little half shirt and um a diaper is nice for me because i some people buy babies because they love to dress the babies up and stuff like that. And that's perfectly okay. I particularly like to... Um, I like to hold them. I like I like to look at them. So, the painting. Like, I don't, I don't care about the clothes as much as one would think. I mean, Taraji's had on the same outfit until yesterday for probably almost a month <laughs> so I I just and she's been like she's been out with me she's been on the on the sofa in the living room she's been in the high chair she's been all around but she I just didn't change her clothes because I don't I don't have to do that to enjoy them so I don't have to give her a lot of things but I am going to you know make sure she have nice cute diapers and um stuff like that but did I tell you guys what her name I did when I first came on, I told you guys what her name was. So, this is Zuri. And I hope that you guys like her. And, um, if she had a middle name, it would be Nicole. All my babies usually, it's like a Marie or Nicole. She would be a Zuri Nicole. <laughs> she would be a Zuri Nicole. So, I love her. I love, like, that's cute, but I love this. I love the way she did that. So nice. So nice. She's so beautiful. Like, and when I say beautiful, oh, let me stop. Let me leave this baby alone. Um, she's beautiful though. I mean, this 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 color skin tone is just amazing. And I know, like, normally I'm such a light skin baby, like is what I paint typically I cannot I can, the darkest I can go is like Memphis color I can't really go beyond that so I have to buy um the babies when they're this skin tone like I really do I have to buy them so I don't know I'm just really 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 excited about her and um yeah, that's all I have to say. I was gonna, I held her a lot. I will hold her maybe in a video so you guys can really get a feel of what size she is. But right now, my, I'm, well, I'm gonna clean it up today, but my nursery has all kinds of stuff everywhere. So, and I'm working. So I, I don't have time to really sit down. And I know it's like, oh, you just spent 30 minutes here. You could have sat down. But it just, the setup is different. And I have to really, I have to go and get on clothes or at least decent pajamas and blah, 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 blah. It's just more 
behind the scene work to do the sit down videos for me. Um, it's just, yeah, for right now, because everything is a mess. If everything wasn't a mess, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But anyway, yep. so this is my little peanut. So I'm going to, I guess I'll do a preemie video one day and show you guys all my preemies. So, ah, I just can't stop looking at her. Let me turn this camera off. Oh, I was going to show you guys Laura next to her. Um, and I know the kid name is Laura, but I'm been calling her Lauren. Um, so, but I guess I'll just have to show her later. I'll see if I can do a little peek. Let's see, she's over there in that. See, she's over there with the babies, <laughs> with the toddlers, Joy and Taraji. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that later.